Alex, nice to talk to you. You got something out of the game, even though it went the hard way, but there was some reward for your players. Yeah, the, it wasn't a game that we were um, going into knowing that we were going to get anything out of it in terms of moving on to the next round, but there was plenty to get out of the game in terms of usually these games are there for the under-21 team to gain the positive experience from playing against the pro club. It was the other way around tonight because we had a really young team, a couple of debuts against probably the strongest under-21 team I've ever seen fielded in this competition. Not just against us, but outright against anyone. It was an unbelievable team that they fielded, um, full of players that have played at the top level and played at Barcelona and one played against England in the Nations League not too long ago. So the experience was there for us uh, to have tonight and obviously the outcome was a positive one. Yeah, and what you've got to get from that as well is how well your lad's attitude and application was. Yeah, excellent. If we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them by trying to obviously play the football they played, we'd have got, um, we'd have got a resounding beating tonight um, because we knew that if we were to do that, we'd leave ourselves wide open against a team that probably could compete low-end championship, top-end league one in, in truth. Um, so they, they defended magnificently, stuck to the plan well. We started to have a few more entries, didn't we, in the final 15 minutes of the game because we, we didn't get anywhere near their goal before that, let's be honest. But that's disappointing, but it didn't surprise us because of what we had to put into the game. Um, and then I, I think the boys were rewarded with the, the win at the end. But it's nice for them to come, come through what was a draw, um, but also winning the tie. Talk about the penalty shootout at the moment of time because it, it seems as though nobody wanted to, to win it. But you've talked about giving a couple of players debuts. I just want to talk about one or two of the other players as well, like Sir Billy Sass Davis and people like that have been out in the cold and not been able to get into your team. You must have been well delighted with some of those, how they, they performed and showed up for you. Yeah, Billy's obviously not had much football lately um, and he came into the team and, and did really well. He had some good protection, him and Kelvin, um, by the midfielders. Um, so that was obviously pleasing, but it'll be good for him to get a game in his legs because he comes into contention Saturday. We're short at centre-half. We haven't got an awful lot of options at the minute. Uh, Rob McDonald's not going to be right for Saturday. Zach Williams is quite poorly at the minute and is looking increasingly unlikely for Saturday. So Billy needed that in his legs, um, not only for confidence and belief, but also physically. What about the penalty shootout? What did you make of it? One of the worst ones I've ever seen. Obviously, they missed four of their five, didn't we? Didn't they? And we, uh, we scored two out of our five. And luckily that was enough to get us home. Normally two penalties when both teams have taken all five of the quota isn't enough to get you through, is it? But it wasn't this case. And I've never seen so many penalties that actually missed the target, let alone got saved. So Trigger does what he does well. He saved the ones that needed to be saved. He got a great record from penalties. Um, and as I say, I'm, I'm pleased the boys got the reward in the end because of the effort that they, and the endeavour that they put into the game. And now you're working all week with your players, you tinker with that system again, back to similar to what you started the season with. Is it good that you've got two or three more days out on the training ground now before you come into another cup game? Yeah, absolutely. We've got to get back to basics, haven't we? You know, Two of the last four games haven't looked like what the other games have looked like in terms of our league performances, in terms of being you know, efficient and um, organised. But we've obviously got to add goals to the game because we haven't scored again tonight. And, we, we desperately need to, to add that to our game and we know we need to get moving quick. Um, I realise um, I've got to try and generate some wins and some games of foot, from some games of football over the next few weeks um, so that everybody can start to relax and feel confident moving forward. People want results, don't they? Is, I know you want results, but you want to get a performance with it, but results are the key, aren't they? Results are, the results are the be-all and the end-all. There's no point in me talking about anything else because the results are the be and be all be and the end all and that'll define obviously um, where we end up in the table and it'll define everybody's success or not me being right at the top of that tree I'm completely aware of that I'm completely aware that there's a an increasing uh, need for us to win games of football and the anxiety and the anger from the supporters that emanates from us not winning it I've got to take that on the shoulders and the players will work exceptionally hard to try and bring that and that result that you got against Leeds will make it a better week into the end of the week to, to, to the next game. Yeah, it, it can't not, can it? It can't not because obviously footballers ride on the crest of a wave, don't they? When good performances are put in and good results are put in, then naturally you're almost on autopilot. You just go straight into your next game, don't you? And momentum's so important. Barrow, case in point, they lost five on the spin, I think. Got a draw against Gillingham and since then have won four on the spin, one in the 
this pizza trophy and they won three in the league on the spin having won again tonight and the momentum's so so important going both ways we didn't really create any momentum over the last few weeks it, going both ways to be honest we've drawn an awful lot of games of football but in recent weeks we've lost heavily at Tranmere and lost heavily against Barrow so we've got to try and address that very very quickly and whilst it's not a league game on Saturday obviously playing Lake Norian who are the best team in this league the league table you know provides evidence of that it gives us a great opportunity to try and upset the apple cart and get us into the next round.